Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to compare three popular kinds of headphones. Um, hopefully all of you have heard of these kinds, at least one kind of headphones. One is the Beats by Dr. Dre headphones. Retail price $200 or $199.99. Um, the Skull Candy Uproxx retail price $29.99 and just these Sony's MDR ZX 300s retail price also $29.99 so we're gonna go with the sound the Beats the Beats mm, not bad the bass is um I was sh kind of a little shocked in a bad way that um, I was hoping it would be like perfect professional bass in these. Um, they were saying that it's Beats Audio, so I'm pretty sure it's the same for all kinds of headphones, all the Beats headphones. Um, it's more of vibration than thump, so, you know, it's not all that great. Um, these are really clear. They, it does have an HDC or HD sound to them. You know, that professional, non-fuzzy sound, you know, perfectly clear. So I will give that to them. These aren't that high in volume, though. So, these Skull Candy Uproxx. These are pretty good, actually. Um, not as clear as the Beats, but for some reason, these have the same bass as the Beats, for some reason. It seems like it. Um, very good bass. Um... <clears throat> I don't know what Skull Candy did. I think they upgraded these um, from when they first came out because they're not. As, I remember using a pair last year. A friend of mine let me use them, and they were really fuzzy. These aren't that fuzzy. I'm pretty sure they made an upgrade or something. Maybe they actually looked on their comments and everything. And so, um, the Sony's. They're okay. Um, they're meant for loud music. These are louder than all of these. Both of these two. Um, they're they're more for loudness. So, in other words, for the beats, it's meant for. I mean, all three of these have different kinds, um, different um, um, you know different you know are meant for different kinds of music the beats are meant for like rap hip-hop you know if you want to feel bass and stuff even though it doesn't have that bump stuff the sony's are meant for loud music you know dubstep rock and roll um stuff like that the up rocks you know it's kind of in between um they're more for value i mean these are definitely worth getting so <clears throat> anyways comfort the beats are, I would probably say might be the most comfortable um actually well because you get this plush type you know ear pads you kind of get a little um plush on the headband but I've seen um videos where they take this off and really it's just one of those white um styro or um white kind of cheap stuff just um you know so but anyways the Skull Candy Up Rocks, these are really comfortable. Um, they don't really let your ears breathe, though, because it's not like the Beats or the Sonys where, you know, you just have cushioning up in here and you got space in there. Um, these, it's just a full, they have, like, it's kind of like they have the cushioning around here, They have and they just have a cloth. Um, it does have the Skull Candy logo on them, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, the Sony's are really cheap when it comes to. Oh, by the way, the Skull Candies and also the Sony's, they don't have any kind of head band cushioning up here. It's just straight up plastic. Um, doesn't bother me, but it might bother some of you. The Sony's, they're okay, but it's really cheap. Um, cushioning, no cushioning on the headband, again, like I said. So anyways, um, so 
va um not value quality. The beats I would probably have to give to the beats. Um, well I'm gonna start talking about the head actual headphones. Then I'm gonna talk about the cable. The headphones um they kind of, they fold up you know like this really portable. Um, they have a metal or not metal aluminum headband. Obviously if they were metal they would rust. Um, I've had these for about a year and they haven't broke. Um, but you'd have to take really good care of these. If you drop them on, on cement ground, because I remember I got a first pair of these. These This is a, um, a refunded pair because I had a pair of these and I was running one time while these were folded up like that. And, um, well, they fell out of my pocket and this whole ear cup popped off and the wire, there's a wire in between the headband that goes all the way through. That's how you're able to listen to music on both ear cups, even though you only have one wire. Um, anyways, the ear cup popped off. Not this part, but the whole thing just popped off, and like there was a wire to hang down. But luckily, they come with um, a good. Um, they come. I can't get it right now, but it comes with like a bag or something to put these in. Um, these. Oh wait. Sorry. The beats. Now the wiring is pretty good. It's pretty thick. You know. It's red. You know. Kind of a cool color to it. Um, comes with the mic. It's detachable cable. You know. Um, if you're wondering what they both look like. It's a straight one here. Where you plug into the headphones. And you have an L shaped um, jack at the end. Beats logo. They really threw that out. Um. I mean, and the logo is really all over. They got beats right there. Beats on the metal thing, or aluminum. Beats right off the Dre on the headband. Um, hard to see. But, yeah. Just so you know, none of these are fake. I've done the research. I got these at Best Buy. I got these on the actual Skull Candy website. And I got these at, um, I think, Target or Walmart, one or two. But, um... Okay, the skull candies are really cheap. Um, I would say I wouldn't recommend these if you're planning to get these as your only headphones to have for a long time. Don't get these. They really threw out the logo all over. Um, as you can see, skull candy logo there, skull candy logo there, and inside the headband, it's hard to see, but it does say skull candy underneath it and it's got the logo um really cheap light headphones they do not fold at all they don't even turn they just or art i should say articulate they just go like this you know just simple put on headphones the wiring is really cheap it's flat but it's really small um i've had friends a lot of friends got these and you know one ear cup or two started going off you know like in a month like in a couple months like probably two to five months the jack is pretty cool though it's kinda got a big um, type weird end to it where you, you can just pull it off more easily but overall the wiring's really cheap everything's cheap you're looking at probably f like three to six months I should say now that I think about it three to six months the headphones these Sony's I've had for about a year or maybe over a year um, about the same time I got the beats but except for these they've been on the ground thrown around kick every kind of torture um, good cable thick cable um, these should last you a long time they are all these are they're plastic but they're pretty good um, value these, like I said, were two hundred dollars. The Skull Candies were thirty, and the these were thirty. I'd probably give the value to Sony's. The boxing, the Beats have the best boxing. They kind of got a hard, you know. They really did good on the boxing. Skull Candy, I had a rip out or cheaper. I don't have the Sony box, but um, anyways, I'm trying to wrap this up. Um, overall. They're all good headphones, but to be honest, the headphones I would probably go with is the Sony's if you're trying to look for a long time use. Beats are good, Skullcan good, but I go with Sony's. Anyways, please like, subscribe, leave comments.
and we'll see you later.